advocacy group for people with asthma. So we would encourage people, it's free membership, free to join. So we would encourage people to take control of their own disease and uh, sign up to be an, a member of NAPA so they can get our email alerts, our news alerts, and find out ways that they can be better in control of their disease. You've got to advocate for yourself. Asthma.ca. Thank you so much. Thank really important having. information. When we come back, we're going to talk about uh, top wedding trends for 2014. Yeah, my friend. Wedding season. We've got the wedding event coordinator for Mariposa Cruises, Anna Chouthy here. Hello. Hi. Nice. Thanks for having me. You don't get weekends from now till the end of September, probably, right? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Fully booked. <laughs> I bet. But it's a great money-making time of year, and it's a fun time of year for people who are planning their weddings. So, uh, what are some of the trends we're looking at today and this for this year? Okay. So let's walk over here. Sure. All right. So. One of the biggest trends we're seeing so far is the emergence of pink. <gasps> yes. This is a, but this is a gorgeous pink. It is. This was provided by Elevated Events, one of our preferred suppliers. Um, as you can see, the, the, the green really brings out the pink. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can incorporate your pink in many different ways, not only in your florals. So you can have your cake. Oh, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Look at this beautiful cake. Right. And, and this is pink ribbon or pink frosting. Right. And so you don't want to do a hot pink, though. You want to do a really soft pink. Oh, you may not want to do a hot pink. <laughs> well, that's the trend, Val. But <laughs> what if I pink. wanted to do a hot pink? You are, feel free to. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the emergence of pink. And what's, what's this? So this is by oh, uh, I Elevated see. Events. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I can only see the back of it. Lovely pink. Okay. All right. So trend number two is actually about all about the Great Gatsby. Oh, right. <laughs> so the Great Gatsby is really um, all about the the Roaring Twenties and the feel of old Hollywood. So we have a lot of pearls and doilies and lace is what you really want to focus on. That is. On. It's really all about the details of the event when you're trying to portray the, ga the Great Gatsby. And would, would the dress uh, reflect that theme as well? Exactly. So you want to have lace. You might do a red lip, perhaps. Your, uh, your bridesmaids might have nice lace gloves. It's really all about the details Isn't about the Great Gatsby. Fun? I wouldn't have thought. But that was, when was that movie? Last year? Last so year, it's yeah. it's still big. It is. Oh, that's so fun. And one of the things that we offer aboard Mariposa Cruises is a red carpet. You can't have Great Gatsby without a red carpet, right? Brilliant. All right. All right. So we're off to trend number three and four. Now, the important parts about trend three and four is all about enhancing the culinary experience that you offer the guests. Yeah. So no more is chicken and potatoes. No one's looking for chicken and potatoes anymore. No rubber chicken. <laughs> so one of the ways is actually spicing up your food. We mean that literally and figuratively. So you want to incorporate or infuse really unique uh, cuisine to your dishes. So here, I mean, you've literally brought a basket of hot peppers. Right. So the great thing with the hot peppers is this can also be a great decor piece. Totally. Of course. And nothing says spice like Indian cuisine. So we... First, uh, you can offer some samosas as part of your appetizers. Yummy samosas. Uh, Give me some samos that. samosas. <laughs> so that's all about um, spices. So the fourth, um, the fourth uh, trend is food stations. So food stations is an alternative to the plated service, right? right? We're Rather very than sitting used to. down. And aboard Mariposa Cruise, it's all about the sights, right? You want to see the Toronto Harbour front, you want to see the skyline. So it really gives your guests an opportunity to walk around, really view the location and really see the views. And look at these views. So these are some pictures that you brought. Oh, there's the lovely couple having a smooch by the deck. And uh, that looks like a big one. Is yeah. that a big ship? 
Yeah, that's the Captain Matthew Flinders. It's how one many, of our... How many people could fit on that one? 350 seated. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And, of course, that's the beautiful view you get to see aboard our, of all of our vessels. And you only see that skyline when you are in the water. You right. have to be on the water looking back in order to see that. You don't get it driving in on the gardener or coming down the DVP. You get it when you're on the water. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a, um, an exclusive spot to be. Right. It's not photoshopped, right? That's right. And the great thing with um, the route that the captains take, we normally circle around the harbor and view the skyline many times throughout the cruise. So there's really lots of opportunity for photos. And are you, do you start when it's light and then go work through dusk and then when the lights of the city come on you get that view as well so you see it right. in different ways right right so there are a number of different options depending on the bride and groom of course you can do your ceremony you, and your reception on board so you can have a whole day event that is fantastic right. so normally what happens is we cruise around toronto's harbor uh, go through the western gap we even sometimes depending on the boat go through the lagoons so it's really beautiful behind the islands and uh, through the eastern gap and cruise around toronto's harbor and in the meantime, when you were talking about the, the, the seated dinner, you can see out the windows while you're sitting enjoying your meal, or right. with the stations. Of course. So with the stations, what you want to do is they're also great decor pieces as well. So you can have a variety of different stations. You might want to incorporate it into your appetizers or perhaps into your dessert. You might want to have a soft serve ice cream station or a candy station. I think we have a picture of our candy station oh, over here. Oh, what a great here. idea. It and we can really take an ice is. cream cone onto the deck and walk around. Right. And what you find is something with like your candy station. People are taking pictures next to it because it's so beautiful. <laughs> Which one? Is this the candy? Oh, look at that. Yum. And that's, yeah. That's beautiful. You can see the rocks. It's really decorated really beautifully. We, uh, we've we often taken, at the end of the year, we, we take all our volunteers on a, on, I say we like it, I somehow have something <laughs> to do with it, on a cruise in the harbor. And right. it's a fantastic way to get a group together. You can't stray too far away, so you're forced to, to mingle and chat and... It's, it's a lovely way to hang out with the people you know. Right. It's really just a unique experience and environment. You really can't get any other way, right? So is it too late to book? No, of course it's not too okay. late to book. We are, we are pretty packed up for the season. We're also getting to inquiries for 2015. Wow. So if it's something you're thinking about next year. MariposaCruises.com. Thank you. Thank you. When, we come, when we come back, Jeanette you and gets us ready for outdoor entertaining. Nice. Are you looking for employment or are you an employer looking to hire? The Next Steps Employment Centers offer free services to help you find your next job or that perfect candidate. We offer a full range of career services at our seven locations in Toronto, Mississauga and Vaughan. This week on Addictions Unplugged, food addiction. What is food addiction and does it affect you? Call us with your questions and concerns. Addictions Unplugged, Thursday night at 9 p.m. on